When you learn to master emotions, you master life. When emotions control you, however, life really sucks. I am going to be talking to you today about how to fucking master your emotions, or at least get you started moving in that direction. And it all begins right now. You see, we are always attracting, creating, and manifesting, but it's time to do it on purpose. The number one way that we create, that we attract, that we manifest is through our emotions. When our emotions aren't in agreement or in synchronization with the thing that we want to create, attract, or manifest, we won't create, attract, or manifest it. If you want to create wealth, you can't do it while vibrating at a poverty frequency. It just doesn't work that way. This is very, very simple. You must become what you want to be. In other words, you become it in your imagination before you can ever be it in actuality or in manifestation. You see, the only reason why we ever do anything is so that we can feel different. When we want to, we, when we buy new clothes, we do it so that we can feel different. When we uh, go to the park, we do it so that we can get out in nature and feel alive. When we go to the dance club, we do it so that we can feel attractive or sexy. We're always doing something so that we can feel differently. These feelings are absolute key. When emotions control you, this equals failure. When you control emotions, this equals success. In order for us to begin to really tap this, we need to understand how to create the emotions that are ultimately going to create the desired outcome. Or in other words, we need to learn how to assume the mood of the fulfilled desire. Let me tell you a little story about one of my clients. He came to me with an idea. It was like one of our coaching sessions and he came to me with this idea and he said, he said, Silas, I've got this whole brand new idea. I've never worked in this industry. I've never worked in this field before, but I have this concept that's kind of been going around in my mind. And the only person that I've talked to about it is my brother. I want to get some feedback from you. And so he began to share with me this concept that he had locked in his mind. So I, I asked him, I said, can you see it? Can you clearly see this thing and what it could be. He said, I absolutely can see it. It's very vivid. It's lucid. And I really believe that this could end up becoming something incredible. Like this could not only be an enormous money-making opportunity, but I genuinely believe that it could become something incredible. And I said, if you can see it, then it's yours. In other words, don't, I told him, don't see it and hope for it. Don't see it and believe for it. See it in your imagination. Visualize, sear it in your imagination and then feel right now that it's yours. Because what's important isn't the manifestation. What's important is what's actually yours now. In eternity. The eternal now, it is always already yours. As a matter of fact, even what you're manifesting right now, you already thought, did, or believed something in your past, the past you, to manifest what you're manifesting right now. The reason you're watching this video is because of a past thought. You are probably completely unaware of that past thought or past seed that was planted in your, in your conscious. But it got planted and now you're here watching this video and you're like, what the hell? This is wild. So here we go. The same thing that took place for this client can take place for you. And let me finish this story. His story ended up being that even though he went through lots of bumps and bends and crucial moments in the road where he didn't think he was going to make it, the technology that started here in his mind that was nothing other than an idea ended up taking off, becoming a very large corporation, and now is a very successful corporation overseas. 
And this can happen for you too, but you need to first recognize if you can see it, it's yours. If it's yours, you need to feel as if it's already yours. In other words, number one, visualize what you want to manifest. Visualize, see it clearly, and then sear that image in your mind. This applies to body sculpting, personality sculpting, or ultimately creating or manifesting anything that you want. You must first be able to visualize it. Second thing is once you visualize it, feel it. Feel as if it's already yours. Don't, don't, think that maybe it will be yours. Don't believe, I'm really hoping or believing that it'll be mine. Feel it. If you can feel it, if you can see it, if you can feel it, it's already yours. So to manifest the body, the wealth, the relationship that you want to manifest, or ultimately in any area, in any aspect of life, in any area of life, you must be able to practice feeling or assuming the mood of a fulfilled desire. You know the old saying, you are what you eat. I'm telling you, you are what you feel. That's right. You are what you feel. If you feel sad, you're sad. If you feel happy, you're happy. You are what you feel. If you feel rich, you're rich. If you feel poor, you're poor. And so, if it begins in your mind in the feeling, then we need to learn how to change the feeling in order to change the fulfilled desire. Assume the mood of a fulfilled desire. I'm going to drop a link below. You need to go to that link. You need to check out that link because we're actually going to be doing an entire course on uh, emotional mastery later in this year. It might actually be uh, beginning of 2021, but we're going to be doing an emotional mastery course, a life artistry course that is going to um, really awaken this in a brand new way. And this is just going to be one of the small things that we're going to be diving into in that course. I strongly encourage you to check it out. Drop your comments below. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.